Hello! This is going to be a review of the new Trini London product Lash to Brow. But before that, I'm going to give you a lesson on the power of using your colors in clothes and makeup. Now this is how I'm used to presenting myself on screen, wearing one of my colors or, as in this case, one of my neutrals and makeup. And before I go into the details of this lesson and the review of the new makeup, I'm going to walk you through a transformation. So I'm wearing a color that's obviously so wrong for my skin. It's olive green, which is a lovely color for if you are an autumn. It's a warm color. It has low saturation, it's muted, it's dusty, the texture is soft. Not my favorite and I don't like it and it does not like me. Here I am wearing grey. It's a cool, cool neutral. The texture has a polished kind of finish. It's a smooth merino wool. Very, very smooth and nice. It's a lovely, one of my favorite neutrals to wear. And to spice it up a little bit, I can wear a necklace in one of my colors, like this one. And I could also wear something black that has a nice contrast. My personal favorite though is a simple silver necklace and it's shiny and it adds just a little pizzazz to my neutral outfit. And here I am in one of my colors. This is a cool neutral pink. The texture has a polished finish which vibes very well with my season. Um, and I could stop right here, wearing no makeup, one of my good colors, and I would still be miles ahead of anyone who's not wearing colors that harmonize with their skin. This pink might not be your kind of pink, but I assure you that there is a version of every possible color out there that is fantastic for you. Only a personal color analysis can reveal exactly which one and also reveal what color you should treat as a toxic waste from now on. And now for some makeup. I use foundation usually every single day. The one I've been using up until now, which I love, is Jemima from Trini London. And I still love it, but I recently bought this new one. It's called God, Old Woman. All right. It's called Rebalance. And it's slightly drier and more matte than I'm used to wearing, so I thought I'd show it to you. It's really quick, smells nice, quick and easy to apply. And it doesn't quite have the radiance, the glow of Jemima. I think it would be just perfect for people with a little bit oily skin. I'm getting to the age where I need moisture but I also like very smooth skin and I have some red bits here because I've been outside in the cold for too long when I was young, younger. Anyway, the sign of a good foundation is that you don't have, if you don't, you don't have to cover the whole face and it still looks good. There's no visible line between where you've 
put your foundation in where you haven't. That'll do. Next, lips and cheeks. I use Phoebe. It's very, very natural. And I also like these um, lip brushes. The lip brush. Ta-da! Then, do you notice how lips and cheeks make my eyes more um, sparkly and defined? Next, the most one. The most important thing is lips and cheeks. If you're going to add one more thing, it would be brows. And this is my newest acquisition from Trini. I like the Trini London makeup and I always thought that she it really lacked a brow gel. And lo and behold, here it is. And look, 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 look. It's like a little mascara wand. So instead of using eyeshadow to create artificial shadow that isn't there, I'm actually going to put color on the hairs of the eyebrows that I have. Just a little bit and the beauty of just coloring the hairs that you have is that it just keeps it completely natural. Eyebrows really define the face. Now I have quite bushy eyebrows from before, so you might think, why am, why do I do anything with them? Well, I do because I think eyebrows need definition, and the older we get, the more we need to keep the balance of the face with eyebrows. So what's next? eyeshadow. This is new. I just bought it. It's kind of pink, but it's not pink. It's brown, but it's not brown. It's brown in a way that is not muddy brown, and it has a slight, slight shimmer. Pink eyeshadow is a new territory for me, but wearing Browns that go towards burgundy is a very, very nice thing for winters because then they don't, the browns don't look muddy. Can you see that? So I start by putting a dot here and then I work it along the brow bone and I rub it like this. Ta da! All done. See the difference? Other eye. Just like that. And then I use Strength. It's kind of a burgundy, dark burgundy brown. And I use that as a eyeliner with my angled brush. There we are. And finally, mascara. And this little beauty has eyebrow gel in one end and mascara in the other. So you never forget to put it on. And I was a little suspicious, I must admit, because with my little piggy eyes, every single mascara almost, it smudges under the eyes. And I usually end up having to use one of those 38 degrees mascaras. So, and this is just a regular mascara or it's a fabulously not regular mascara because it actually stays on my lashes.
all day. And I just remove it with my regular cleanser in the evening. Now, when you get to be my age, it's always a bit of a surprise when you put your glasses on to see how you've done. Yeah. Not too shabby. And that's my daily makeup routine. And see you next time.